What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another FC24 video. It is 6pm, it is Monday and we're going to check out the content for today. Although EA Today did give a breakdown of the content that was going to be coming this week, it was pretty uh, pretty poor. We'll go through it at some stage anyway, but um, yeah, let's have a look if there's any new objectives for today. There is not anything in seasonal. There is not anything in milestones. One of the things that they said we were getting is a uh, squad foundations. Um, but it doesn't look like it's here. Oh, there you go. Liga Portugal squad foundations are here. If you want to be able to afford the best players and open the best packs in FC24, go to u7buy.com to buy your EAFC24 coins. It's cheaper than buying FC points and just as reliable. They already offer some of the best prices out there, but you can get an extra 6% off using promo code NEP at checkout. And so the overall player is going to be 85 rated Zalazar. Oh, why bother? Three star, three star. 70 composure. Good physicals. Decent defending for a player that could be a cam. Really nice dribbling other than composure. Passing is good. Shooting is good. Pace is good. He's got six play styles. If these are good play styles, other than composure, this could be a good card. He's got power shot, whip pass, Traveller, incisive pass, flair, and technical. Some nice play styles there. He's not awful. We've got Loder, another English player uh, from Foundations. He's got Traveller, Flair, and Quick Step. Is that Quick Step, that one? Yeah, Quick Step. Three star, three star. Can play center forward, right wing, cam, and striker. Good pace, good dribbling, good physicals. Decent short passing and vision, and decent shooting. Him with a Hunter could be very interesting, to be fair. Especially with that Traveller. Just three star, three star is just awful. Um, premium goal pack for scoring eight and then playing six for, sorry, winning. Yeah, was it winning six for SJO? Four star, four star on him. Can play center back. Wow. Oh my days. All right, he could be a beast. He's got anticipate, slide tackle, and first touch. He's got great dribbling, good passing. Great pace, great physicals. With a shadow chem style at centre-back, he could be wild. Because even though he's got low physical, his stamina is really good. His jumping is really good and his aggression is quite good. Even at fullback, he's got good crossing, good vision, good passing. Like with an anchor chem style, playing him at fullback could be good as well. But that's not a bad player, to be fair. Um, so there you go. We have got some uh, foundations cards. Do we have a new Evo today? No, we do not. That's sad, isn't it? Um, do we have a new SBC today? Of course, we're going to get some upgrade SBCs. The team of the week player pick is back again. Oh, we're going to have uh, another. It'll be another. Um, the Chow and Reek thing. It'll be another SBC card as well, won't it? One of the foundations ones. Her nanny. Ooh. Five star, three star. Left mid, right mid, mid, and right wing. He's just a bit meh. He's got trickster. Rapid and flair. He's got good pace and good dribbling. Maybe an engine chem style would make him good, but he's a bit meh. What's his uh, requirements going to be? An 85 rated player with an 84 rated squad. So EA think he's going to be quite good. Because they've put the, the requirements for him to be quite high, to be fair. Uh, for upgrades, we've got the 75 plus player pick. One of two? Ah. Oh. Eight players, all gold. This, this one, like, what I would be doing with this one, guys, is put your untradeables in here. That's fine. Don't put tradable players in here. Sell them to people that are putting tradables in here. I honestly think this is a bit stinky. Eight golds for a one of two 75 plus is, is quite tough, quite honestly. And so do not put in... Um, do not put in tradable cards into this SBC. 
I, w I personally wouldn't even like focus too too much on putting any cards in this SBC. I, I think it's it's pretty poor. What else we get? Yeah, I mean, even 83s are like stinky for price. You got Salah? Well, GG's to you. Um, nothing else there. Challenges. Trailblazers Challenge 5 for a Jumbo Premium Gold Pack. What do you need for this? 22 chemistry, minimum quality gold, five players from the same region, four players from the same league, four clubs minimum, first own minimum two. I mean, that's just nice and easy. You can just put in like a... a single league team, basically, can't you? And just make sure that you... Um, throw in a few different clubs and a few different nations... And with SBCs like this, again, I would always recommend and suggest, guys, just put in your untradeable cards. Don't put in tradable cards. It's never going to be worth it. Uh, unless you don't have enough untradeable to, like, like fit it all in. Um, oh, so we need five from the same region, so I need one more English player. There we go. Gibbs White can go in there. So that's a nice and easy one for a tradable Jumbo Premium Gold Pack, which is quite nice, to be fair. Um, we don't mind that pack. And then we've also got UEFA marquee matchups, which includes Inter versus Salzburg for a small prime and Newcastle versus Dortmund for a prime Electrum. We need, for Newcastle versus Dortmund, two players from Newcastle or Dortmund. So go and sell your tradable Newcastle and Dortmund players. Three clubs minimum, same region, maximum four. Rare players minimum one, team rating 77, chemistry 26. So again, just do... Like a Bundesliga team and then put a Newcastle. Oh, actually, you could probably get away with just doing a Bundesliga team in this, to be fair. Um, and then just hit the uh hit the Dortmund players where you need to. I think I actually just had a Ben Sabiani that I ignored, didn't I? Yeah, so there's Ben Sabiani, he can go in there. Tap Sober can go in because these guys are all worthless. Romaldo we won't put in. Have we got another? Um should have like a Damn, we haven't. Thought I would have had a, another Dortmund player. Maybe we'll have like Alair or something. Yeah, there we go. And then we'll just throw this guy in the left back spot. And that's that covered. So nice and easy again. And again, I know I think I said about eight times. Just use your untradeables where possible. That's for an Electrum. What was it? A Prime Electrum Players Pack. That's not bad, to be fair. And then Interverse Salzburg. One player from either of these two clubs. Four regions max. Okay, you, you could just do an, an Italian team again. Or in like a, a Serie A team with as many Italians as you can get. So we'll go Provadel in the first one. We'll put Raphael Toloi, DiMarco. And you can even put in players like Acherbi as well. So he covers the Inter thing as well. Um, but obviously because 83s are like discard price... It just doesn't matter to put in certain players here. Like Kostic, for example. He is 800 coins if you wanted to buy him on the market. I don't think I need too much more, actually. I think we can get away with all of that. Countries, regions, max four. Oh, I've gone one over. Let's just get an Italian striker. Or just an Italian player in general. There you go, Baldanzani. There we go, boom. And that's a small prime goal players pack. And for the group rewards, we are going to get a rare mixed players pack. That's probably the worst pack of it all. Um, any new icon today? No. Anything else in upgrades that I missed? The team of the week player pick is back again. So no, that's a that's a bit bit sad. And then in store. We've got preview pack. All, all, almost always pointless. I think it's very hard. To, oh, I still think that's pointless, isn't it? I might, I might just about squeeze some profit out of my preview pack um, with an 85 in there. That's quite nice. But we've got the Jumbo Premium Gold Pack. Finland goalkeeper is going to be Hrodetsky. Simakan, Maguire... Uh, I mean, Simicam might sell just because of the Leipzig players, but you know what? They're so oversupplied, I just don't think he will. Yeah, so not too, too much in there. Um, we then get the small prime gold players pack. This, I think this is quite a decent reward, to be fair, for what you have to put in. Going to get a Spanish centimeter. It could be a walkout. I might have shot 
like dropped it too early there. It's not. It's terrible. Um, and then what was it? A rare, a prime electron players pack. This again is quite a decent pack. Argentina centre forwards. Benfica is going to be Di Maria. Um, nothing too too crazy out of that. But turning untradeables ideally into tradables is always nice. And then a rare mixed players pack. Going to be Brozovic. That's actually all right, to be fair, unless it's not Brozovic. Oh, no, it's not all right anyway. He's only an 83 this year, isn't he? Yeah, that, that's, a, that's a bit tough. But let's have a look at these foundations cards. I don't think they're terrible. But what I'd, like, he, he, here's the thing for me, right? Like Hernani, for example, he's not terrible. Five star, three stars, good. He hasn't got the best play styles. What do what, what do we go with? Do we go with engine? Engine's quite good for him, but there's so many cards in the game that are like as good or better than this that it's like even if they made him just a bit better. It wouldn't, it's not like it would break the game. There's already much better cards out there. I don't mind them not necessarily pushing the power curve early. I mean, the power curve's already way high. But they're releasing these cards like they're at the power curve. Like, like you know, previous years, some of these cards were really, really good. But these cards are probably like three steps below where the power curve is. I, I would probably go with an engine. Maybe a maestro. A maestro gives him really good dribbling. I see his passing is just not good enough. I'd probably go with an engine. Good crossing, decent short passing, great curve, great pace, great dribbling, good shot power, and five-star skill moves. He'd, he'd make a decent winger. We then got Zalazar. They're giving a reasonable upgrade, to be fair. Only seven composure, though. They could have done a bit better. And again, three-star, three-star is just tough, isn't it? He's got some very good play styles. Power shot, incisive pass, whip pass, technical flair, and Traveller. If you just had four star, four star, this would be like a super legit card. I do think you could still make something a little decent out of this card, though. An anchor's not bad. Backbone's not. No, uh, backbone I'm not really interested in. Basic is really nice. Basic gets his short passing, long passing, and vision to being very good. Boosts his positioning and shot power, his sprint speed, his agility, ball control, and dribbling. Some of his defensive stats up a little bit more as well. Makes him an 87 rate centre mid. He's not bad. It's just a shame he's three star, three star. But his play styles might, might just make him like super. Dead Eye's pretty good on him as well. And Engine's pretty good on him as well. Makes his dribbling really clean. He's going to be one I want to try. I reckon he could actually be a lot of fun. Uh, he looks good. And then also S SJO. Um, for me, says he's an 89 rated fullback or an 84 rated centre back, probably because of that strength. But that's a crazy centre back. He's five for eight, I suppose. Actually, that's pretty stinky, isn't it, for a centre back? Although some of the women centre backs are that uh, tall as well. It's a good card. It's a good card. I think a shadow and him at at fullback, very good dribbling. Good defending, great pace, good passing, good physicals outside of strength, decent finishing as well. And then Danny Loder. Three star, three stars, not the best. But a Hunter Chem style. Gives him very good pace, very good shooting. He's got good physicals. He can pass, which is good for a forward as well. He has got Traveller, which is nice. It's just a shame he's three star, three star. Um, and then also, guys, we had EA's tweet today, which is this. They gave the content this week in Ultimate Team. Squad foundations, SBCs, and objectives, which we've already had. League One Player of the Month, I guess, is coming in the coming days. An Icon SBC, which I think has been rumoured to be Stoichkov. Team of the Week, which we knew was coming. A Trailblazers SBC, which I assume we'll get in the next day or two, and is going to be Foyth. And an upgrade SBC, which was a 75 plus player pick today. So I think this is EA's way of trying to let people know what's coming. But at the same time, it's uh it's really bad because it's we could have guessed this. Like this isn't information really. 
Um, I'm also being told to have a look at the wording of the 75 plus player pick on the web app. So I'm going to I'm going to log in. And we're going to have a look. Upgrades. Earn one of two rare gold players rated 75 overall or higher. What am I? What am I missing? Is there so I, I don't know what I'm like. It's times one, one of two. It looks like times 11. No, it doesn't. It looks like times one. One of two 75 rare gold players untradeable. Just like here, it says times one prime silver players pack. This is a times one, one of two 75 plus. Maybe if you zoom in, now it looks like times 11 when I've zoomed in. But when you have it on the standard setting, you can see very clearly it says one, one of two 75 plus rare gold players pack. Yeah, I think people are stretching for that. Anyway, that is going to be the end of the video for today. If you did enjoy it, be sure to leave a like, rating, comment, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. For now, guys, I'm out. Peace.